Hey guys, welcome back to CK2 Plus as the Carlings and the Empress Constance the Good of the House Carling. Um, yeah, so here we are in our war once again against the Holy Roman Empire. And uh, this is a great struggle. Uh, we want to remove the anti-pope that was uh, established by Emperor Verna, the son of Satan. What the hell is going on with the Empire? This is the second time. Uh, look at this. If we have a... Yeah, check out, check out the history. The first one, where we removed the old Pope, uh, that was on the uh, Emperor Algaric, son of Lucifer. And now, the anti-Pope that we tried to remove is under Werner, son of Satan. What the hell is wrong? Like, literally, what the hell is wrong in the Holy Roman Empire? Like, this is two out of two. Um, despite us being cynical, we are like the most devout person here because we're removing literally the, the spawn of the devil. And we're doing this twice now. So I didn't actually notice this, but this gives us even more legitimacy to remove the anti-pope. Now, uh, I've split up our forces, or I've raised them, and I'm uh, gathering them right now, obviously. Um, and there's a, uh, yeah, th I just kind of want to show you um, how much each part of our empire contributes. So we're going to start off in England, and as you can see, we have 15,000 troops from our vassals that we can get together. I actually have to raise ships as well, and I've called in our tributaries. They haven't really joined in just yet, but they will obviously have a few men of their own. 6,000 at 2,000 from Brittany, and then this King of Wales, he's going to contribute another 6,000, but he seems to be currently in his own war, so I'm not sure how helpful he will be, but still, this is kind of cool. So, um, yeah, we can expect about 30,000 men from our allies and our own vassals here in England. Now, in Andalusia, we don't really have too many men, we only get 5,000, but we have Duke... Uh, Duke... Oh, no, we lost... We lost that amazing Duke of Sevilla. No, we, do, we still have him. Wait, no. Ah, oh, damn it. We lost this amazing general of Sevilla. Marco the Black. He was just incredible. He unfortunately died three years ago. Well, that sucks. But yeah, so Andalusia is giving us 5,000 men. Uh, North Africa is giving us 11,000 men. Uh, and uh, Italy is giving us 10,000 Bulgaria only 2,000, 3,000 men, uh, and yeah, so the bulk of our forces is certainly France with 84,000 men, and this is not counting our own levies, this is counting our retinue, so without that one, 75,000, so that's pretty insane, even, so basically France on its own would be as strong as the entire Holy Roman Empire, um, so that's just something I wanted to mention. But yeah, without uh, further ado, I guess we'll move forward and maybe slow down just a little bit. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can do. I'm, as I said, I have some orders um, where we rally our troops, so that should be fine. We're being attacked, apparently. Can you not attack us? I wouldn't mind. Oh, he is attacking us. He's going to arrive on the 19th of this, uh, September. Okay. Uh, our allies have told us that they will join. And yet, so we have the problem that there is actually already Holy Roman forces in our lands. And not too few. 11,000? That's, you know, quite a, quite a bit. But I think overall we're still going to be able to defeat them. Let's go ahead and raise our ships as well. 200. Don't think that's quite enough. But if we raise these ships... Well, well you don't actually have that many. Um, yeah, okay, that's... Uh, sufficient ships. We'll send them all to Essex. Um, wait, why are you moving? Okay, you're not moving. Okay, and that should be fine. 2,000 Holy Roman forces here. And also, by the way, yeah, Jerusalem actually has another holding here. They have four provinces in the HRE right now. So that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I hope that actually, you know, we'll be able to weaken them enough to force sort of a uh, civil war. Um, that will uh, end in the Holy Roman Empire being split apart. But we'll see if that actually works out. More people joining us. And Florence is actually the seat of the Emperor. And this is where I will send my Italian forces. 10,000 should be enough to take it, hopefully. And uh, then we can move on to other things. Basically, my plan is I'm going to try and take out his personal holdings. He has 
New Shuttle here that we'll take. He has Luca, Sienna. Oh, yeah, he's got uh, Palermo, Messina, Syracuse, and Trapani. Okay, so he's a lot of provinces in Italy. Um, this guy, unfortunately, we're fighting our kin. He's actually leading troops in Lombardy right now. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Duke Herbert, you should, uh, he's an exceptional commander. He does have a claim to the Archduchy of Austria as well. On Aldrich the Kind, he seems to not be moving. Okay, and Prince Rurug. I don't know why he's a prince. I guess an Archduchy is counted as a kingdom, even though it's not an actual kingdom. Um, okay, you're no longer attacking us here. That's good. Let's move you guys to Fez, and let's move you here, I suppose. That's fine. I don't think he's going to try and attack us anymore. Uh, okay, there's some smaller... Wait, the Holy Roman... Ah, right, yeah, they're attacking the Pope now. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I hope the Pope is not leading this. That could be awkward, but I don't think he is. All right, you guys move here to Cadiz. Um, let's move our troops closer as well. Um, yeah, let's move to Cordoba first, and then you can move to Cadiz. Um, and this is where I want all of my troops gone, actually. Hmm... Do we want to pick a fight with this? Oh, this is this is Emperor Werner himself. Ah, you know what? And our friend Bering, Berengi the Great is leading this army. You know what? We'll attack him. We'll attack him from all sides. You join in on this. And yeah, we'll go here. He will have no... Well, he will have some place to go. But we'll try and limit his uh, escape route. You're taking some nice attrition there. That's awesome. And our troops are getting ready. Okay, we're also mustering here. Oh my god, so many things to do. Oh, there's actually a pretty big army. I wonder who we have here. Adabald de Bagnier de Bigor. That's an interesting name. A strong imperial guard, brave man, skilled tactician and organizer. Okay, that's probably good. And then we have the Duke of Champagne leading our papal forces here. Okay, very, very good. Who do we have here? Anyone important? Probably no commander. That's fine. We'll send these troops to reinforce our Italian army. That's probably the best cause of action. And we are still being attacked here. The Emperor is fighting our friend. Well, good luck with that. Don't think you're going to get far. To be fair, he has got more morale. So I, I don't know if we can actually win this. But we'll see. I at least want him to attack us. Because we're going to get the defensive bonus. He will arrive on the 21st of October. Yeah, so he's going to he's gonna destroy us. Uh, he's going to attack us anyway. Okay, stand down. These ships. We've got 23,000 men. Cool. Okay, and there's a first, first answer. Duke Theodoric of the Holy Roman Empire. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got 10,000 men in the capital of Florence. Good. So that was a success. Did we did we fight a battle even? Seems like we didn't even fight a battle. How come you were here? That's so odd. But it doesn't matter. We'll uh, just siege his capital. That's probably the best course of action right now. We've got 11,000 men here. We'll wait for more troops. 13,000. Whew. Yeah. The Holy Roman Empire does have quite a lot of troops themselves. How many? Yeah, 78,000. Not too bad. But they're all split all over the place. I wonder if the... Yeah, the Emperor's still here. If we catch him here, by our, if, if our friend catches him or, you know, kills him in personal combat, that would be obviously insane. But I somehow doubt this is going to happen. Uh, we'll see. I guess we'll... When, is he, when, when are you going to arrive? 21st of October. Okay. Let's have these guys reinforce, reinforce, and we'll see what happens. Okay, woof, he's an amazing general. Wait, why is he so good? There's got to be imperial decadence. Oh, look at this. So, okay, let's quickly check this out because we had, we personally had an imperial decadence of plus one. In fact, we might actually check out our own modifiers, but let's check this out. So they have not as much tax. Um, and not as... Oh, the morale is lower, as well as the levy count. An empire is a hard thing to hold together. The massive bureaucracy can become corrupt 
and the sheer difficulty in sending messages across such a large expanse can lead to its own kind of entropy. Imperial Decadence measures that entropy and increases each time the title changes hands based on how large and centralized the Empire has become. Ah, the title changing hands more if it is usurped. Interesting. So I wonder how this counts for the Holy Roman Empire because they have an elective monarchy. That's kind of unfair, isn't it? I don't know. Higher crown authority, having a very large realm, losing crusades and holy wars, losing against major invasions, random events caused by poor ru ruler or regent. Uh, it can be reduced by becoming coronated, um, holding tournaments and furuziva, using the lower imperial decadence decision, <laughs> okay, winning crusades and holy wars, winning major invasions and rebellion, enforcing imperial de jure claims and random events by good rulers. Interesting. And you're still attacking this sultan for Tarabulus. Ah, okay, so this is basically you want to win the holy war to reduce your decadence. Now let's see if we have some decadence ourselves. We apparently don't. Only have some vicious rumors spread about us. Okay, that's interesting. We'll see how this uh, continues, but for now, I knew it. How did I knew how how did I know this? Our friend died in battle against the Emperor. So now this just got personal. <laughs> this just got personal. This is no longer about him being son of Lucifer or Satan or about popes or whatever. He killed our friend. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Especially because our friend has been the uh the Duke of Thompson at some point. There. He was Duke of Thompson. And he was actually sort of killed in, in lands he once ruled. So yeah. We have reinforcements coming. Mm, these 5,000 men. I think we'll have them wait in Cadiz. Um, our rival. The implacable. Duke of Anjou. We'll have to kind of... I mean, maybe the Duke of Anjou can die in this war as well. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if he dies. We still have one friend, the Duke of Burgundy. So actually, yep, I have him as an important character. Um, Gundred van Tallinn. We have our friend, Raymond of, or Ramon of Ravona, Verona. We've got uh, the Pope. And Sibyl Zinizier. Okay. So, 19,000 men. 26,000 men. Who's going to lead this? We need someone. Uh, Godefroy. Yeah, that's our vassal. Um, he was a carling before. Uh, not, not sure if we can see the family relations. Yes, he's a son of Duke Richard the Fat. So let's have him lead the defense of our home. Look at this. This is Vermandois. This is the first province we started off with. It's a prospering province or, or booming even. Yeah, we cannot let this be... Uh, besieged for too long. Okay, 15,000 British forces. Don't know, or English, I guess. I uh, don't know where we're going to land them. Probably just here in Bruges. It's the most, uh, it's the best idea. Okay, now allies are coming as well. Uh, that's fine. Okay, 10,000 men here. We'll probably combine this. We have two, two generals. That's okay. And here come our reinforcements. Okay, now, this is the ongoing battle. I kind of want to watch. Yeah, we're losing this. This is not good. Even though... Yeah, I mean, we broke a flank. They broke a flank. These two are fighting. Don't know how long these men can hold against the Emperor himself. Uh, Okay, so yeah, he defeated our flank. We're fleeing. Damn. Yeah, it was our friend died. And that killed the morale of our forces. That's basically how it was. Okay, so there's 13,000 men of Duke Polycarpus making his way. Uh, we definitely need to reinforce this army as soon as we can. These ships can stand down. And yeah, we've got 12,000 men. There's 11,000 troops coming. I think we're going to we're gonna actually say hi to them here in Rosello. So we can stop them from moving anywhere. We need a general for that though. Raymond. Our, son, uh, our heir. Yep. Duke of Verona. This is your job. Hold them off in the pass. Here we're winning. Okay, very good. We've landed with our troops as well. 
I think this is pretty exciting. Uh, I don't know what these 15,000 men can do up here, really. We could try and harass. Like, maybe sack the Hansa. I think that's what we'll do. We'll actually sack uh, the Hansa and see if we can, you know, do uh, economic damage this way. That's basically the plan. Okay. 19,000 men. How many troops... Well, how many... Oh, yeah, New Shuttle was one of his uh, personal holdings. So let's besiege that. Do we have someone leading this attack? Duke of Burgundy. He's leading the armies here. Duke Simon. Is this Simon? No. Oh, you... Yeah, you don't need to lead this. We already have someone. I think this is... Uh, this is for the Duke of Burgundy to do. There you go. Okay. These men will probably just reinforce you there. And these 19,000 men, I haven't really decided what we'll do with them right now. But I will likely send them south as well. Um, yeah. Hmm. Probably here. Probably here. Then again, let's send them. Let's send them here, and then along the coast to maybe Luca. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Okay, so how is it going? Uh, we're still holding on, but we're actually yeah, basically just being pursued. Uh, but I think we might still be able to catch the emperor here. When are we gonna arrive? Thirtieth of November, and Jacob Piedra has joined. Ah, oh, the King of Aragon. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Just need to keep tabs on everything that's happening. Right, and we've got these 15,000 men as well that are doing some stuff. Duke Herbert of Salerno was captured. Oh, we captured that kin. That's actually funny. The Battle of St. Simon uh, has been defeated. Oh, or has been won. That's good. Uh, yep, there's our great friend who died in battle. And yeah, I guess our kin, I mean, that's perfect. He's one of the best commanders. It's actually good that we managed to capture him. We will... I mean... We will probably... Uh, yeah. We will put you... And house arrest. Oh, can you not do that? Oh, no, we can. There you go. Yeah, put him in house arrest because he's our kin. We don't want him dying in our dungeon. But we cannot release him because he's basically one of the best generals that the uh, the Holy Roman Empire has. Apart from the Emperor itself, of course. So, yeah, we need to be careful there. Alright, we'll meet these men. He's... Yeah, God is dead. I, I, understand. I, I, uh, I, I know why our Empress feels like this. But yeah, anyway. Mm, must con continue the siege here. 16,000 men. That's fine. Okay, this shouldn't be an issue. You guys can get together. And we definitely need someone... Mm, you know what? I will give command... Duke of Champagne. You can resign here. And we'll give you command of these forces. Oh, Duke of Orléans is also able to lead some troops. Let's have you lead these troops. Um. Ah, this is Duke of... Oh, okay, we actually have a few commanders they can use. Alright. Uh, I think you guys don't actually have any commander, so we'll have Duke of Champagne do this and attack the home of the Hansa. 